afternoon, Ravens. Welcome to ONW Now. I'm Gabby Thomas. And I'm Sydney Weeks. In today's Speedy Show, we'll give you quick updates on the Bone Marrow Drive, a highlight of prom, and more. ONW's Bone Marrow Drive was last Thursday, and many students came out to swap to save a life. Let's take it to Grace Jerzak for more information. Last Thursday, ONW held their annual Bone Marrow Drive. Students and adults over 18 were able to get swabbed to see if they are a match for someone in need of a bone marrow transplant. Getting swabbed can save a life and is much needed in the community. For more information, go to www.dkms.org to learn about how you can help save a life. Last Saturday was ONW's first off-campus prom at the Embassy Suites, giving students a new experience all around. Since it was off campus, it was very cool, and especially with Mr. Carter being the DJ, he, was, he played some really good songs, and he connected to the, us teenagers really well. Yeah, it was fun. Um, just, I mean, nothing brings everybody together like a good old dance. Some, uh, what is it, uh, what are the, the cha-cha slide? Oh, nothing, yeah. brings, nothing brings so many people together like the cha-cha slide. <laughs> But for one ONW couple, the experience was much more intimate, taking home prom king and queen. Um, it was so exciting because we'd been to all 10 dances together, and this one was for sure the most memorable one. It's something we're going to remember for a long time. Yeah, actually, and she didn't think we were going to win, so uh, I, was, I was trying to hype her up, get her excited about it. Uh, she, she's, she was nervous about it. <laughs> Now let's throw it over to Nick Lopez and Angie Torres to get an update on Northwest Sports. What's up, Raven Nation? Welcome back to Game Day Northwest. Today we have updates from all of our spring sports. Let's get it started. The Ravens boys golf team went clubbing in Carthers, Missouri at the Sonic Invitational yesterday with the team placing second out of 21 teams. Carter Franklin led the way shooting even with a clean score of 72. Placing second individually while senior golfer Jackson Wexler showed out shooting 75 and finishing fourth. Next up for the Gents is attorney at the Topeka Country Club, Monday. Good luck, fellas. The Northwest tennis team battled hard at the Free State Quad last Thursday. The team placed third in the doubles with Tolu and Luke Ragland leading the way. The tennis team is back at it again today for a quad with Gardner Edgerton, Mill Valley, and Olathe North. On Tuesday, the Lady Ravens swim and dive team was at Shawnee Mission Northwest for a triangular with the Shawnee Mission Northwest Cougars and the Shawnee Mission North Indians. The ladies won several, won several events and had an encouraging night in the pool. The ladies are diving back into action next Tuesday at PRT against Elite the South and rivals Elite the West. Raven track team ran at Shawnee Mission West last Friday. A few events into the meet, the weather picked up and the meet was canceled. Even though the meet was over quick, the Raven track leads made a showing. Those who qualified will run, jump, or throw out the KU relays this weekend. The boys baseball team took the field playing Free State on Monday night. And the Ravens put on a show, taking the contest 13-6. Sophomore Brevin Lee racked in four RBIs and White Morgan drove in three. Kyle Shever did his best Shohani Otani impersonation by getting three hits and the win on the hill. The win pushes the record to 7-4. and four. Their next matchup is against Shawnee Heights tonight at 5.30 and, against, and, to, and again tomorrow with Ray Peck and Lee Summit West. On the 17th, Lady Ravens soccer team went toe-to-toe -to -toe with rivals Olathe North. The match was a double overtime nail-biter, nail but the Olathe Northwest rose victorious over the Eagles after a game-winning goal from Jamie Berman. The girls are currently prepping for a road trip to take on the Indians from the Shawnee Mission North tonight at 7. Good luck, ladies. On Tuesday night, the Lady Ravens softball team do dominated Shawnee Mission North. Behind a shutout on the bump from Emily Bowman and a dinger from Jordan Richards. The Lady Ravens run ruled the Indians in three short innings. Wow. The softball team will be back on the diamond tonight and Friday at 5.30 against Shawnee Mission East and Elate the West. Keep swinging, girls. That's all we have for Games Day Northwest. Good luck to all the athletes and teams competing this week. For more updates on Raven Athletics, turn in the Raven Roundup on Friday or check our Raven Daily Twitter. Now back to the desk. Yesterday, our band, choir, and orchestra students traveled to the state large group contest. Our choirs earned both one and two ratings, and our band and orchestra kids earned straight ones. Remember to congratulate these students when you see them. That's all for this week's edition of ONW Now Ravens. Make sure to follow us on Twitter at ONW underscore Raven Daily and on Snapchat at ONW Now. For the Raven Daily, this has been Sydney Weeks and Gabby Thomas. Don't forget to catch tomorrow's episode of the Raven Minute, and we'll see you on next week's episode of ONW Now.